Our keynote address will be given by Harley Lippman. Harley Lippman is the founder and CEO, and he relates the seeds of his success to a piece of advice he received from his dad who said, either grow it, dig it, or build it. Lippman has created a career of doing all three. With his business and technology firm, Genesis 10, he has dug in to build a company that revenues over $122 million in 2008, having grown organically from just $6.9 million in 1999. When Harvey Lippman founded Genesis 10, he invited 12 key employees from his previous company to work for him at pay cuts of up to 40 to 80 percent. They must really like Harley. At that time, he took no salary for himself and had just a few clients. Still, 10 of those employees accepted the offer and became the 10 of Genesis 10. Lippman describes this as a moment of truth. Even if I had paid them any more money, if there had never been any trust, no one would have come on board, he said. I think this is about trust tonight. Harley Lippman, come on down. Come on up. That, um, one of the things I'm, I'm doing is that I'm doing a project with my son for his bar mitzvah. That may sound a little odd, but you know, when you think of a bar mitzvah, it's typically a very joyous event, a party. But we wanted to do something that would have more substance to it, something with more meaning. And so we came up with this idea of trying to do something that would add something new to the Holocaust, as difficult as it is at this point in history, and something that we could somehow make a difference, somehow where you could be involved in yourself and, and do something to make people aware of the true horrors that occurred. That was, uh, here's a video, it's going on, so if you could turn up oh, the lights, see. and here it is. There you go. Hiking in uh, in Costa Rica or you know, hiking in uh, in the Rockies. What would you say? What why why uh, what, why is this important? I I would say it's it, it's important because we're uh, honoring the dead Jews and in, instead of having fun ourselves, we can also um, appreciate other people at the same time and and then just. Uh, Letting people know that Jews died here, so just respect it, etc. There are thousands and thousands and who knows, maybe tens of thousands of victims of the Holocaust that are lying in unmarked graves. And what we've really seen through the work of Zbyszek Nizhinsky and others is that these now elderly people are relieved to be able to say, yes, you know, we know where the Jews are buried. Niesamowita ta nasza dzisiejsza tu rozmowa znowu nad tym grobem, że wspominamy. Nie, nie ma już męża, który był świadkiem tej egzekucji, bo on... On widział. On tak. gdzie, gdzie, jak, jak on to widział? Gdzie, gdzie on był schowany był? Czy z daleka tutaj? Yy? To tu, tu, tu. Oni wszystko tutaj w tych drzewach byli, pulacy. Tutaj. I się tak z daleka przeglądali, tak. Patrzyli. A to wszystko te Żydzi to byli w polu i ściągnęli ich w to miejsce i tu ich rozstrzegali. Jedna, dwie, trzy rodziny, no i, i jeszcze było dwie takie starsze kobiety. Trzy, trzy rodziny to były z rodziną, mieli dzieci, wszystko 
I jeszcze było dwie kobiety, ale też pojedynczo tak na stancji mieszkali. No to czyli... Czy ktoś z tych, z tych osób, które który, który który mieszka, który mieszkały w Szelcach, to leżą w tym grobie? Czy, w czy... tym grobie leżą. Urodziłem się tu, wychowałem się tu. No co więcej, tu i w tym czasie, jak oni tutaj ich prowadzili do narościały, to pasą kroby. No. I ich tu strzelali. Nie w tym go, tu. A my ratem po krzakach podczołgali się i przyglądali się na to wszystko. Ile pan miał lat? 13 wtedy? Tak, tak. No i po tym wszystkim no, rozstrzelali ich i my do domu poszli. A później ile ziemia chodzi? Z krówami tymi. A na drugi dzień przychodzi, to, to, to oni ich przysypali trochę ziemią. To tak palec jeden chodził jeszcze. Ale my się bali też podejść tam. Ilu według pana mniej więcej? No chyba lepiej jak setka. Pięć czwórek nali. Po czwórce po 20 sztuk. I, I taką jedną grupę zabili. Stawiali ich nad tym dołem. W dół postawiali. Jo. I z karabiną maszynową. Ta. Can you imagine taking your son and saying, I know that everyone be ready to do this. Saying, you know. Our people, horrible thing happened to our people. But you can make a difference. You can go out there with your hands and with your time, make a difference. And it's really showing that to become a Jewish adult, become a bar mitzvah, that's what it means bar mitzvah, to become a Jewish adult, responsible Jewish adult, means that you too can make a difference. Adam. Through the works of my dad, I actually learned that there's a bunch of mass graves in Poland of Jews who were who were just like shot by the Nazis just randomly for no reason at all. And then since I'm so interested in history, I really wanted to come and just uh, like put this stuff over there and then and then and then just um, have them to be remembered. <laughs> Więc mogę powiedzieć, na drugi dzień ja tu przyszłam i też widziałam, w którym miejscu pochowani są. Szochaj na Bamaromi, am semruchona tarat kan we aszchina, me malot kudoshim torym rozerkiem asirej.